Who are all you people? Welcome to No Filter, everyone. Uh, I feel like some of you are probably new here, um, so I think it's kind of important to address the last No Filter video we did. The response has been overwhelming, um, and thank you guys for sharing it and talking about it and keeping the conversation going. That's exactly why we did that. Um, but I also think it's important to note that at No Filter, this isn't what we do all the time. We don't really do serious videos unless there's something super serious that we feel we need to talk about. A lot of the time, we just like to have fun and do funny things. So, in light of that, and in light of the fact that this has been an awful week of awful sports news where everything sucks and just is depressing and sad all the time, we scoured the internet to find some sports stories that can put a smile on your face. Just for a second, you can forget how awful everything is. First story, maybe a little old, still hilarious. Meta World Peace, do you realize this? His name now is the Panda's friend? Like legal, like his legal name in, in China, and I assume that's international law, so it's probably all over the world. The Panda's friend. Not only is it weird, it's grammatically incorrect. What would you change your name to? Ron Artest. <laughs> Here's one, the new president of Columbia College is going to buy textbooks for a student if that student can beat him in Madden 25. That's awesome. Extra added bonus fun fact. His name is Dr. Dalrymple, which just sounds like a fun-loving pediatrician who gives you extra lollipops. I technically think I minored in Madden. Oh. Th how about this? This is a good one. Jeremy Lin pretended to be a wax statue at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and then like, boom, surprised people. So he just sat there motionless, didn't move at all. Sort of like when James Harden plays defense. Okay, this one's awesome. This would make you smile. Did you look at the pictures from this one? There was pug racing in southern Germany and they take little pugs and they put figurines of little jockeys on the backs of the pugs and they let them run free. Look at this bear playing around on a golf course. He thinks he's people. Look at this baby trying to eat a baseball. Silly baby, that's not food. We think that's cute. Mr. and Mrs. Met, that's stuff of nightmares. Can you imagine a gigantic baby eating Mr. and Mrs. Met? Now I'm gonna think about that all day. Look at Dwayne Wade wearing a ridiculous outfit while on a ridiculous safari. He's so silly. He loves that outfit. He said, hashtag, I'm feeling myself. Hashtag, better than feeling a lion. That wouldn't end well for you, Dwayne Wade. And I'm not lying. This is good news for, for someone. Tim Tebow going to join the cast of Good Morning America. I'm going to tune in just to see if the first time he throws to commercial, it gets intercepted. So that's it. That's literally all the happiness in sports that we could find. If something happy happened to you, uh, maybe tweet it at me with the hashtag happy story. And then we can all have a nice little collection when we're feeling awful about the fact that, I don't know, Ray McDonald and Greg Hardy are going to play football this weekend. We can just click on the hashtag and be like, look at all these happy stories. Do you have a puppy? Tweet it. Hashtag happy story. That's it. Bye.